significant for a number of reasons. Number one is the fact that Gabon has been ruled by one family for 56 years. So more than five decades, one fam family has made it their business to run Gabon. It started in 1967 when uh, Omar Bongo, born Albert Bongo, but changed his name when he uh, became a Muslim, El Hajj Omar Bongo, took over the reins of power after the then president, Leon Mba, died. He was in that government. He started as a military man himself, Omar Bongo, and then became president when Leon Mba died in 1967. He ran that country from 1967 till he passed on in 2009. And then his first son, Ali Bongo Ondimba, who is the deposed president, took over the reins of power. He's actually contested and won elections uh, on two occasions. So he served 14 years. That is two terms of seven years each. And he was going to serve his third term of seven years, which would have made it to him, I mean, serve 21 years in power. But he's been deposed. He's been ousted now. He has been seen in the last few hours in a viral video lamenting the kind of treatment he's been given by the military junta. The military junta say he, his, his rights will not be trampled upon. He's a normal Gabonese. And that nobody will harm him. I'm Ali Bongo Ondimba, president of Gabon. And I'm to send a message to all the friends that we have all over the world to tell them to make noise, to make noise. For the people here have arrested me. He still refers to himself as the president of Gabon and is calling on the international community to, to, to make noise, lamenting the kind of treatment he's been given. He says he's been separated from the wife and his kids. Apart from the fact that it's been 56 years, why is it that you've had one family in that country, in the seat of power for 56 years. A very key reason is that a strategic military base of France called Camp de Gaulle is situated in Libreville, which is the capital of um, Gabon. And this, I mean, the French boots on the ground in Gabon have always protected the interest of the Bongo family. They have natural resources. Over 90% of that country is covered in green vegetation in forest. So you understand why the French would protect the interests of the Bongo family because it will serve the interests of the French. The international community is watching keenly and in what is the latest in the wave of what has been referred to as the French Spring in Africa.